Right, so this is my final figure of the box that I've had for October. And honestly, this box is absolutely massive compared to what I expected. I expected it to be down like here, um, but there's a lot of space at the bottom and I'm presuming this is because of the light feature. Um, this was B grade as well, um, but there is the sticker the authenticity for type moon. Um, and we have got Alter's uh, picture on here as well. Um, the box itself is absolutely stunning. Actually, I'll just start from the front. Um, there's a very big wide window so we can see Sabre in all her glory. Um, I can't wait to actually see this paintwork. She looks absolutely stunning. This wasn't even on my top like 10 wish list of all figures that I know of so far, but she came up on Ami Ami for 16,000 yen as B grade. Um, she came up later as A grade and she was 20,000 yen, so I'm pretty happy with getting her for the price I did. Um, now this apparently can light up, so when you put the sword in, um, it looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, I really like the design of what they've got here as well, because it kind of matches the whole theme of it. Um, we've got a lovely showcase of the sword, Excalibur, um, or it could be Calibur, I'm not sure. Um, it's a 1-7th scale. Uh, the sculpt is by Sai and paint master is Tetsumori Nanami. Um, it's by Type Moon. We've got the Fate State Night logo there as well. If we turn to the side, there is a lovely cutout here um, to see into the side of this. There's some beautiful flower imagery. And then again, the uh, information on the side there. Um, I'm going to turn it back around this way. We've basically got the same again, so uh, let's not spend too much time on that. On the back, there's quite a big open window here as well, which is a surprise you don't usually get that, but there is a lot of detail in this figure. Like the paintwork that Alter has gone into is absolutely stunning. So we've got the information about the light here. Um, it's a close up with the big bow on the back and her hair, and then one of her from the front. So this will be already opened as it was a B grade. So this has probably already been displayed in someone's home. Um, but I think they have resealed it at the top. Cut that little bit open. Yeah, they have. Right. Probably to stop it from like scooting around. So I'm going to pull this onto its side. This is my first figure by Alter as well. Um, and I was supposed to be getting the Merlin 1 8 Ami and Alter figure, but. Who knows when that will be arriving as it's been pushed back again. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's some lovely shading inside this box as well, um, which is really beautiful. Um, we have some instructions. Um, also to be careful with her little uh, hair piece at the top. Um, and she does take some batteries. Um, I'm not sure what they are. I will find out when I open this up, I guess. So let's have a look. So, let's pull this across here. Um, there we go. Oh, they've actually resealed the tape on the sides as well. Interesting. Okay. That, or they just never actually opened this. Um, no, no, it's just on that one side, I think. Um, oh. Sorry if that's really loud. Oh nice, they've even got some protective um, paper in here. Oh, throwing plastic across the room. Oh my gosh, this girl. Right, so let's look at the base first. So there is some fluff, fluffy material on this. It's nice and soft. And there is a little bit of dirt on this because it is pre-owned. And as you can see, there's a little switch here for the light, you turn it on and off, and where the sword will go. Um, let's have a look. Ah, so it's AAA batteries. So I will be right back to see if I can find some. Back with batteries in here now. So if I uh, flick the switch, you'll see a light's coming on in there. So we'll have a look at that with the figure in a moment. Um, so um, next, let's have a look at the sword, which is taped in place, I believe, with some sticky plastic. I'm trying to get this up. There we go. Um, I pull this out and stick that back down. This looks really nice. It's a uh, transparent yellow plastic. 
so that the light can shine through. And there's some engraving there and the metallic paintwork on this is absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't describe how like well done this is. There's a lovely shine to it <clears throat> and it just looks really good in person. I'm not sure if the camera is actually going to give this figure justice. Right and then finally this heavy girl. She is probably going to weigh a ton. She is so oh, oh my gosh. She looks beautiful. Um, I know I'm not showing this to the camera right now, bear with me. I'm going to look at what to do with this. So, um, right, I'm going to try and hold her up. So her expression is lovely. Like she's got this soft smile on her face. Her eyes look gorgeous. The detail on this flower is incredible. If I pull this in, you can see the sh shimmer from the pearlescent paint. Um, I'm trying to be careful of her little cowlick. Um, on the back we've got this bow where there's some gorgeous paintwork for this, like I can't describe the detail they've gone into, I'm really trying hard not to drop it, it's heavy. Um, the necklace that she's got is a nice little choker, and I just can't get over the details on this, Alta really do go all out, this is my first one so it's a surprise. Um, this flower here is really pretty and then her corset part of her dress and gloves have this lovely sheen to it as well um, so we've got cranes all over this which is very traditional of Japanese like kimonos um, the flowers the paintwork there is not a single defect on this and if we come to the back the flow of where they've made the creases is absolutely superb like they've predicted this well um, they've even actually hollowed out the inside I'm trying not to do a panty shot but her shoes, even though they're just a plain white, they fit very nicely with the figure. And they've just gone into so much effort to make her look really good. So there isn't any pegs for this. Um, we're just gonna try and kind of like push her up against the side until we get her to line up with where the sword will go. So if I pull her in a little bit here and pull this forward slightly now that way I've got the box out of the way. And she looks absolutely stunning, my gosh. So um, if we pop this in here, tilt it so that the uh, sword's resting underneath her hand, like so. Right, so with that in place, gosh, she looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm really happy I bought her now, actually. I was, I was waffling over this for a while, but if I split that on, um, that is actually a really nice glow into the sword. Um, the floof hides it a little bit as well, which is really nice. She just looks really gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna turn this off if I can find the switch again. There we go. Um, and we'll do some shots with her. Absolutely stunning. Um, I'm, I'm out of, like so speechless. They've done an amazing job with this one.